to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Today's a, a, a bittersweet day. Mostly bitter. Today is the, the year, I hate saying the word anniversary, but it's been one year since we saw George Floyd killed by Minneapolis police on camera. Mm -hmm. Now, we got the results of the quick trial that convicted the officer, Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, The other three officers are supposed to go on trial, I think, later on this summer. They're all being tried together. We got the uh, conviction. Did we get the sentence of Chauvin? I don't think we got the sentence. No, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We haven't got the sentence. Uh, but yeah, so you know, you're going to be hearing a lot about that today, which will definitely alter your mood, and not in a good way. You know, um, somebody hit me yesterday about it and was like, "Yo, tomorrow's a year anniversary of when they killed George Floyd." And it just struck me as kind of like, what do you do with that information? Right. Other than be upset again. And, and it say, is wow, a, it, it's been a year. Yeah, like, wow, it's been a year. Um, I guess another reason I call it bittersweet um, is because of the amount of conversation and proposed change. That people, corporations, politicians claim they want to get done. I will say, and I think it's very clear that, and and you know, I was, I was in media when Rodney King happened, and it does feel like. There are more people that get it now. There are more people that recognize how out of control many police departments are around the nation. There are more people that understand the level of uh, kind of chaos that many, that too many, let me say it that way, too many police contribute to in communities. And trauma that police brutality contributes to black people specifically I think more people get it now you know um, and the conversations are happening but I, I guess the reason I'm hesitant right now while I'm talking is because this ain't gonna change next week You know, there's cases all over the country right now of of police who have beaten and murdered black men. And it's just now coming to the surface. There's a case in Louisiana. I think it's Monroe, Louisiana, where they still won't turn over the body cam footage. And it's been years. And even the autopsy report the coroner was like, this, this is a peculiar death. This was not a death from a car accident, as the police claim. And when they brought the body in, he had two of the taser prongs in his back, and they were claiming it was from a car accident. Wow. That's right now in the United States. So that's why I'm hesitant. And like it's like, okay, it's a year since George Floyd. I'm glad... That we uh, are seeing this officer get sentenced and convicted. But, you know, we're also just a few days away from the centennial of the Tulsa race massacre. And we're just now as a society... As a collective society, sort of beginning to celebrate Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. 
There's going to be celebrations in Queens as, you know, the, the mayor and the mayor's office is doing June. This is the first, the first in New York City this year. You'll see some Juneteenth celebrations. You know what I mean? People don't even know what I'm talking about right now, what Juneteenth is. Right. They're like, what's that again? What is Juneteenth? Hey, bro, I see more and more people say they never learned about the Tulsa massacre until okay. now because it was never taught in school. Definitely was not. Well, how about this? You're, you're learning about the Tulsa race massacre. Go Google Red Summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the Tulsa wild. race massacre was just one. Around the nation in the 1920s, white mobs were terrorizing black communities. And that's when a lot of these Confederate statues went up also. These Confederate statues didn't go up after the Civil War. Uh, many of them didn't even go up until 50 years after. 40 to 50 years after. And, and it does feel bittersweet. Again, because like you're saying, though maybe they may, may be more conscious since Rodney King, the results are the since same. Since George Floyd, because Rodney King... Cause, that, but that was somebody videotaping out of their apartment with the old school camera. Now it's in their face because everybody got a camera in their pocket. But the results are the same. You know what I'm saying? So the conversation is more because you catch it more based on everybody's phone. But the results feel like the same. I mean, well, they didn't. There was no conviction in Rodney King. Well, that's what this yeah. is not the same. I mean, that's the sweet. Right. That would be the only sweet part, right? I mean, if the progress is that the whole world, and I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but I know with uh, Chauvin. The whole world had to stop in order to get this conviction. The whole world had to view a nine-minute murder in order to get a conviction. I don't think that his uh, counterparts uh, are going to get any real conviction, and I still wonder about his sentencing. And not to be a, a Debbie Downer on that, but it's not. Nah, but it's rightfully rough, you know? so. I mean, e history and evidence suggests you have a right, and many of us have that same feeling. Like, what's really going to happen here? Pessimism is. Based You'd be experience. crazy to not be pessimistic. <laughs> right. You'd be a psychopath. Like, what? based on what would you not have doubt here? Right. Right. It's hard to take the crumbs on on this situation. You know, I'm still wondering about Breonna Taylor. And we, we Everybody's passed. still wondering and fighting for trying to get some answers with Breonna Taylor. And they just stretching that out. My, my stomach still feels weird, you know, with Ahmaud Arbery. That's right. I, I just visualize him running for his life still, you know, from these dudes who chased him Yo, down. The federal those government vehicles. had to get in, right. in, into that one. And there's nothing. It disappeared. No, I, mean, I just saw a story on it last week. They're still, they're still holding those dudes. They're still fighting to get it. It's still going on. And remember, the whole town was kind of in on that. It was That's some weird. Right. That he knew the judge and this, Well, that, the guys that. that did the killing of Ahmaud Arbery were former police officers, and they knew the DA, and the DA did this. And remember, they tried to hide the case at first. Yeah. And because of social media, the whole thing, the footage got out, everything got out. And it's not often that you actually see the killing like George Floyd. Like Ahmaud Arbery, we saw that too. You know, so it, it hurts, you know, and you want to see something change. And you hope every time, you know, but it took the world to see that for statues to get broken down and for us to get a little bit of crumbs. But I think I think we're kind of circling around to why the year anniversary of George Floyd is a big deal, because while it did not fix everything, you know, it, well, no it, singular it did, incident is going to fix hundreds of years of it can't true, but criminality. It, did, it did have a major impact. It sure. has opened up a lot of eyes to how bad the situation is that were not open prior. Right. For whatever reason. And that's right. why it's bittersweet. Right. And so on this day, um, I know uh, George Floyd has some family members here in New York. Um, they had uh, a gathering over the weekend. Shout to them and con their continued participation. Because one of the things I don't think we talk about enough is, is what these families give after they've lost a family member to all of us by continuing to do work right because you know I'm not quite sure I'd want to be constantly reliving an incident right. that traumatic 
right? Or like, you know, we've had Trayvon Martin's parents on the on the show several times and they continue to stay active in the community and politics and trying to change laws. We've had Breonna Taylor's mom on here, same thing. She continues to stay active, mm-hmm. you know. Even even up to like Tamika Mallory, who's you know, um whose child's father was murdered. You know, Sean Bell's family continues to stay active. So, you know, to all of those families on a day like today, I'm sure it just opens those old wounds um, where you have to, you know, take a few deep breaths and meditate and, you know, find ways to stay positive on a, on a day like this. Um, and we just say, you know, love and light like we always do to, you know, the people that are, are uh, feeling the weight of the moment. And to everybody out there, you know, we remember George Floyd today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Send love out.